Greening interwebs, this is Jack K, and welcome to another edition of Donkey Kong Jungle Beat Blind. Last episode, we completed the Strawberry Kingdom. And today, we're gonna see what's in the Prime Apple. Sure, the Pine Apple Kingdom. I don't know why it's why I was mispronouncing it before. Let's go into it before I blunder anymore. Now, the thing I noticed about doing a blind playthrough of this, like, it's a pretty action packed game without. Not, doesn't really have too many puzzles. A couple of gameplay mechanics that might trip you up every now and then, but not too many puzzles I can think of, so I'm not quite sure if the whole blind aspect is really as interesting, because you're not watching me solve things, you're just watching me play through. And it doesn't seem like it's extremely hard, so it's not like you're not watching me blunder and fail either. So I'm not sure if there's any charm. This, though, considering I'm likely to be recording all of this before uploading the first episode, I won't be able to get feedback from you guys until it's probably all over. Unless anyone comes in while I'm streaming it and tells me otherwise. Okay, new concept of being in a bubble. This is kind of interesting. I'm guessing if I run into the bees, they will stay, pop my bubble, and if I'm unlucky, die. Though, that's very unlikely. The dying part that is. I'm pretty sure bees are bad news bears. I don't even know where that comes from, and I still quoted it. I just know that I've heard an LP or say it once or twice, but I'm sure they're not the first ones to come up with it. Right from the bubble into the pineapple, that's pretty cool. Okay, that was a pretty short first part of this Kingdom level, I guess you could say. Uh, yeah, very short considering this is the later part of the game. Oh, we're finally getting into the beach. And oh wow, DK swimming ish. Clap. Oh, okay. I think we can go up. I'm not quite sure what makes me dive and rise though. Go for the beast, don't do anything. Okay. I see. Clapping like makes me go up a little. I don't see what makes me go down though. I guess just the concept of swimming in general. So I guess it's kind of like the original DK countries. Except where any sort of movement in some sense requires pressing a button, though I think it was more solid controls in Donkey Kong Country. Because that game is a lot older, that's a little bit sad. Hmm, whatever. Not much you can do. Pressing both bongos kind of lets me go up. Like that. Oh, I'm probably missing some sort of secrets. Because I didn't take the lower path. That's disappointing. No, I don't think I would have saw swimming in Jungle Beat coming. So, even in Jungle Beat, the game that I used to give a hard time for not being a Donkey Kong game has swimming. When DK Country Return does not. Though, if I recall, I remember hearing that, like, the new DK Country Returns game is going to have swimming, unless I just misheard things. Nah. How long is this going to just be bananas, anyways? I want to collect the bananas, but I kind of just want to beat the game, too. I'm not really that interested in getting a high score. You want some else? Okay. Pretty defenseless under the water. Um, DK, let's beat up the pufferfish before I come back. Okay, you can beat up stuff underwater. This game automatically. You're automatically more defenseless in the older games than this one. the bubbles popped. I can't get over there from this way. Maybe there's another way around. Hmm. Let me get the bananas. I don't know why I'm so inclined to getting all these bananas. I guess I want to actually get a good rank. But it's kind of just getting to be a waste of time at this point. Let's do it in 
way I can like bust through this? Clapping? Nope, nothing really. I guess there's not much you can do. Thankfully, you don't have to worry about drowning because I'm pretty sure I would have drowned by now. No, I'm not going back down because the more I'm not going after those bananas. I'm should say because I don't want to worry about them right back down. Silly bat, at least you can stop the con. Okay, they don't infinitely float back up to the surface. That's good at least. Oh wow, walking that should be something I kept in mind. And these things are gonna make going under the sea a lot easier. Let's dive down a little more. Yay. Oh well, are you my friend or are you my foe? You know, the possibility of riding on a whale is so awesome that it's worth taking the risk of getting hurt by it. But first, bananas, because I'm kind of sucking with the controls of getting on the whale anyways. I want to ride the whale, sir! Beluga! Give me a lift! Yee-haw! No, Beluga, Beluga, there, you're going the wrong way, Beluga! Okay. So that's how you get into these areas. Whee! <laughs> oh wait, that's the end? Oh shoot, I messed that up, so... <laughs> Whoa, whee! <laughs> Game really wants to make sure that I actually go through here. Oh, I can... My... Let go, Beluga. I want to get the bananas are down there before I end the level. Come on. No. Well, fine, game. You win. Or not. Jeez, when I actually wanted to quit, the game won't let me. Get me up there this time. Fine. I wish the game would make up its mind if it wanted me to end this level or not. Oh dear. Eh, you look awfully familiar. Karate Con. Really? Really? Then again, I think I remember a Karate Con from a TV show. Unless he was actually named like Kung Fu or something original. So, sir, what was that? He like dodged. He like hit me after I dodged you that time. Okay, no, I have to clap twice to dodge him. I get it. You can't fool me with your trickery, Mr. Karate Pawn. Okay, so now we got purple magic in there. Okay, that's interesting. This guy's definitely a lot more challenging. Oh, I am dodging you, stupid game. I'm gonna have to concentrate because I'm not sure if my commentary is gonna mess this up. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, this is horrible. <laughs> Clap! I'm fine, I'm gonna cheat. Clap! Clap! I am clapping! Clap! 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 Uh. Clap! Clap! Uh. Clap! 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 Awesome, I did! No, I don't wanna go for that again! Finish them off, finish them off. No, five each. Clap! 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 Dang it. Clap! 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 Oh my gosh, he's trying to find me taking up pretty much all my beats. I'm gonna get a horrible record because of freaking Karate Con, but. Please at least get a bronze. I'm probably not even gonna get a bronze with how awful that was. Yay. You know, I think that's right when. Yep. Okay, just barely got bronze. This was right when I said. 
but the game was kinda easy. The jinxing guys certainly are looking out for me. Oh, how did she kill all of them? I thought I did that before and it only killed one. This game certainly likes to advertise its secrets and abilities. Oh well. I had enough to clear all the kingdoms anyways. At least I got bronze. I can't believe I'm saying that, but freaking Karate Con is hard. Especially when you have to clap the dodge. <sighs> Guess that's it for this particular video though. In the next episode, we will take on the Lemon Kingdom, hopefully with less Karate Con. This has been Jack K, and until next time, see y'all later.